Hey what's up guys? Today I'll show you an action horror film, Legion. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. On a dark and solemn night, the Archangel Michael falls to earth. He appears as a man, and cuts off his own wings. After raiding a weapons warehouse and blasting its door, he is about to proceed with his plans. However, he is blocked by the patrolling policeman. Michael feigns surrender, and seizes the opportunity to kidnap a patrolman. In the standoff, another patrolman suddenly becomes possessed. Putting off their warning, Michael steals the police car, and drives away after they exchange fire. At the same time, on the side of a remote highway in America, Jeep and his father run a restaurant, called Paradise Falls Diner. Their waitress Charlie was found pregnant someday without hormone let go, so she totally has no idea who the hormone hunter and the baby's father is. Jeep has long been secretly admiring Charlie, and earnestly wishes that Charlie would be his girlfriend. Unfortunately, Charlie does not accept his courtship. As a new day begins, owner is fixing an old television while chatting with the cook. A family of three, dad, mom, and the rebellious daughter, visit the diner as their car breaks down. A driver who has lost his way, asks Charlie for directions, and requests to borrow the owner's telephone. But out of thin air, weird things are surfacing up. As Jeep looks, dark clouds are looming over the sky, and coming towards where they are. Besides the strange signs from the sky, the telephone, television, and radio all fail. At this moment, a gray-haired granny enters the diner, and politely makes her order with Charlie. But all of a sudden, she becomes unexpectedly hostile, and curses that Charlie's baby will be burnt to ashes. Right after that, the granny curses the mom. Hearing her unpleasant remarks, Dad steps forward to stop her. As Dad leans over, Granny bites on his neck. To tackle the abnormal Granny, Cook throws his frying pan at her. Though the pan hits Granny, she is not affected at all. She even crawls over the table, and climbs up to the ceiling. Owner fires his gun at her, but to no avail. Granny swiftly lands on the ground, and slaps Owner hard. Owner is sent flying by the slap. Jeep picks up the gun, and aims at Granny. But he is too timid to shoot a bullet. Luckily, Driver shoots Granny dead, before she attacks Jeep. Driver picks up the revolver, and prepares to send the injured family to the hospital. However, when they get on the way, they see a huge dark cloud, pressing down at them. The noise of wing flapping, reveals that those clouds are actually swarms of flies. Since their vision is blocked by the countless flies, the four of them have no choice, but to return to the diner. Later, all of them gather to examine the Granny's corpse, and discover her black eyes and fangs in her mouth. When they are about to bury Granny, a police car is coming over to the diner. Charlie thinks that the police is coming to save them, and rushes to the car. But what she sees is only Michael, who looks cold and emotionless. In panic, all of them step back, and observe Michael from a distance. Owner positions his rifle at Michael, and demands Michael to show his teeth. Even after Michael proves he is plainly normal, Owner is too worried to have him stay over. Though Michael knows that he is not welcomed, he does not mind it at all. Instead, he opens the trunk of his car, and gives each one a gun. He warns them that more of such terrible creatures like the granny, will appear later. The bad news has driven all of the patrons back to the diner. In the evening, there is a blackout. Michael leads everyone up to the rooftop, and they watch over the diner in the dim moonlight. Sometime later, an ice cream truck passes by, with pleasant music turned on. When the truck pulls over, a salesman arrives before them. Soon the salesman's chin and limbs lengthen, and he crawls to them quickly like a gigantic spider. Before he can go further, Michael shoots him dead immediately. But as the salesman dies, more trucks loading possessed human beings, roar on the dark road. All of them have no choice, but to fight with the possessed. However, even with enough supply of weapons, some of the possessed still manage to break into the restaurant. Dad is snatched by one of them. Charlie tries to pull Dad back, but to no avail. Possessed almost throws her out the window. At such a critical moment, Michael appears to save Charlie from them. Strangely after a while, her creatures start to retreat, and the patrons gather back to diner. As owner persistently demands some explanation, Michael discloses partial truth to them. It occurs that last time when God lost faith in mankind, he destroyed the world by flood. But this time round, God makes man possessed by his angels, to eradicate the human race. Furthermore, Michael claims that Charlie's baby is the savior and hope for all mankind. So Michael's mission on earth is to protect Charlie, 
and ensures the safe delivery of her baby. None of them fathom such a myth, and many questions are brought to the table. But Michael does not waste time to take all the inquires. Instead, he reminds them the top priority now is to survive in the destruction. Later when they get ready for the battle, Michael meets Jeep, who looks in doubts. To satisfy Jeep's curiosity, Michael explains the reason for his visiting Earth. Although God commands the angels to kill all mankind, Michael does not find it reasonable. He sees Jeep taking care of his father after his mother's death and leading him to find his way home. And he also sees Jeep wholeheartedly loves a woman who bears the child of another. Jeep's resilience and his selfless love for Charlie move Michael and make him think that mankind is still worthy of salvation. As morning dawns, Michael recalls his conversation with the Archangel Gabriel. Back then, he was already doubtful of God's plan. But Gabriel told him to get rid of his own thoughts and obey God's commandment. Since then, the two angels have parted their paths. Michael has chosen to fall on this earth, giving up all heavenly glories. Now, mom, who rests with daughter, hears dad's voice, tracing his sound, Mom goes to the back exit of the diner. Over there, she sees her husband being crucified upside down, and wounds cover all over his body. Just when Mom approaches Dad, his wound suddenly explodes into acids. The cook moves at once to shield Mom from the harmful fluids. Because of that, the cook is seriously injured, and dies after the rescue. Having gone through so many ups and downs, Mom falls into a deep depression. She even regards all this as her daughter's fault. Driver overhears mom's hurtful comments and brings daughter away. Meanwhile, daughter manages to resume the radio service. From the radio transmission, they learn that the world is falling apart. Charlie suggests that they should flee to the refuge nearby. However, Michael disagrees with the plan, as Charlie's labor is due. On the other hand, driver is consoling daughter when they are on guard duties. Suddenly, electricity is resumed in diner. A middle-aged man has come to the diner to pump up fuel for his car. Before he knows, his car is surrounded by hordes of possessed men, and his naive child is also taken by them. Seeing what happens, driver charges at the crowd with his rifle and saves the child. But with the singing of a weird lullaby, a boy bites driver to death. Daughter also joins in the battle, but she soon finishes all her bullets. Without much choice, daughter rushes into a car and hides in, at first, Michael does not want to support the patrons. But owing to Charlie's rounds of pleas, Michael finally rescues daughter. Shocking enough, the possessed boy also finds his way into the diner and cuts off the electricity. Thanks to Michael's assistance, owner manages to wipe out the troublemaking possessed boy. Frightened, Charlie goes into labor earlier than expected. Once the newborn baby bursts into a cry, all the possessed men fall into great torment. When they think redemption is at hand, Michael tells them since the possessed man cannot do anything to the baby, God will send Gabrielle as the last resort. What Michael says throws Charlie into great fear, so she turns to daughter for her child. At this time, mom who has broken away from her restraints, grabs the child suddenly. She intends to protect herself and daughter through this child. A streak of holy light shines in from outside. It is Gabriel standing at the door. Michael immediately shoots mom dead, before she can hand the child away. Noticing that Gabriel is about to harm Jeep, owner fires his rifle. Sadly neither bullets nor knives can penetrate Gabriel's wings. Gabriel retaliates at owner and beats him down to the ground. Jeep wants to take revenge on Gabriel, but Michael stops the vengeful Jeep and urges him to protect Charlie and the child. He also tells Jeep to find the prophets, learn to read the instructions. To buy time for the patron's flight, Michael purposely recalls the past with Gabriel before their battle. Gabriel persuades Michael to obey, but Michael does not accept his opinion as expected. The two angels put up a fight. To get rid of Michael's struggles, Gabriel stabs him. Michael drops to the floor, and his body has disappeared, with a beam of light ascending back to heaven. Owner who is left behind, plucks all strength to ignite the diner's gas main, and blasts the diner, incinerating himself and the remaining possessed. But Gabriel who has spiritual power, makes a swift escape with his wings, as Michael passes away, Jeep finds some mysterious drawings on his body. He then realizes these are the prophet's instructions mentioned by Michael. When they are counting their weapons, Gabriel suddenly appears and competes with them for the child. To protect the child, the daughter holds on to Gabriel tightly. 
Though Jeep brakes the car sharply to throw Gabriel off the car, the car goes out of control, and overturns on the side of the road. Daughter is killed in this incident, and Jeep narrowly escapes with Charlie and the child. But Gabriel continues to pursue them. In his strive to save the child, Jeep throws Gabriel down the cliff. Just when Gabriel wants to kill Jeep, the resurrected Michael saves Jeep from a fatal blow. Learning that Michael's actions are approved by God, the frustrated Gabriel loses the battle, and returns to heaven in disgrace. In the end, under the guidance of Michael, Jeep and Charlie safely arrive at the refuge broadcast by radio. However, the two are not aware that the newborn baby is actually the child of God. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Peace out.